Jesse here with the Stoddard Agency, and uh, this is another video in a series on how to help uh, attorneys do better marketing. And today, uh, I'm going to jump into the world of Facebook for a minute and talk to you about some really cool stuff that you can do with targeting. And I even consider it kind of a hack in a sense, you know, in a rough sense of the word. So I'm going to look at a, a you know a beginner website here, a beginner uh, you know um, situation. Uh, and this website is being redesigned, by the way, but this is their starter website uh, just to get, help them uh, get going here. Um, but it doesn't really matter because it's, it's, as long as it has a good form and decent information and looks legit, uh, it's going to perform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this address here. And now here's the, here's the thing that most uh, personal injury attorneys especially, and actually all attorneys have trouble with. I always ask them, what is your um, potential target market? And they say, well, everybody who's, it's an event-based thing, so they have nothing in common. You know, they have to, they're in a car accident. So, well, are they a certain, you know, what's the demographics? Well, it's all over the board, right? Because anybody could have, uh, you know, an event-based thing happen to them. doesn't matter what their age, sex, income is, where they live, et cetera. The only thing, you know, we obviously we want to, we want better clients and we don't want worse clients, but that's pretty hard to determine. So they, they, I've always get pushback on that. Um, you know, obviously different kinds of law have different uh, similarities between what they're looking for. But personal injury tends to be one of the toughest ones uh, because it's event based, right? Something happened to them. However, if you think creatively, you can always go a little deeper because what do these people have in common? Um, it, it, there always is something in common. Well, it, it may not be demographics. It may be something that they do. Okay, so for example, they probably go to a hospital. Uh, they might see a chiropractor. They might um, have a, uh, um, you know, after they go through that initial initial emergency room stuff and they, they get checked out, then they're going to get a referral to a physical therapist. So they do something in common, and that is a way to target. There's always a way to target if you think creatively. So in this case, why don't we search for hospitals near this, near this uh, particular law firm? So that's what I did here. Your best friend is Google and Facebook in this case. Um, Facebook obviously owning Instagram, that would include Instagram as well. So we've got um, a location here and we've got hospitals within, it looks like about 10 miles, seven, seven, you know, five to 10 miles of the location. So relatively nearby and there's quite a few. So what I do is I look up that list and then I've got them all here and I could go into page two and, you know, branch this out. But right now it's showing me 20 good results nearby. Now, not all of these are going to be the ones that everybody goes to for, you know, if they're in a car accident. Um, however, they may go to some of these uh, later on for ongoing work. They, they may, you know, they may not have an attorney relationship yet. And so, um, and, and they may have a loved one that uh, is there. So I'm going to start with that and then we can always prune them down and get rid of the ones that don't perform uh, if we really care. But we may not even care because, you know, it's very cheap to advertise on Facebook. And um, as long as we're targeting not to everybody on the planet, but to people in these vicinities, we might increase our odds of actually getting a client, right? So that's the theory here. Now, how do you do it? Well, I'm going to show you inside the ads manager. I've already created all of these audiences that I need for a good Facebook campaign, but I'm going to go into this specific one. In fact, I've already created the one I'm going to show you here, but you're going to go to create audience. Now, this is the business.facebook.com, by the way. This is not regular boosting of posts. You can kind of do it that way. Uh, there's, there's plenty of ways to do Facebook advertising, but once you get hardcore serious, you need to have a business manager or make sure your agency has it or hire some goofballs like us to do it for you. Um, and so we've got custom audiences, lookalike audiences, which are based on, you know, a, a lookalike is when you take an audience and then you let a Facebook's amazing algorithm, artificial intelligence, machine learning processes, find other people that, that behave the same way. Uh, and custom audiences are typically what I use to create most of my audience. In this case, I'm going to create a saved audience. Now, saved audiences are cool because you can do all kinds of stuff, including adding custom audiences. Like, for example, I have one here retargeting all sources. I basically took all of these lists down here that have engaged with our content, our page, a video, etc., and I put them all into one audience just for ease of use. So that's prepared uh, in advance. Um, and then uh, I can also do some fancy stuff like what we're going to show here. So first of all, I want to give this a name. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, I would do this after I figured out, but let's say it's hospitals, uh, actually more specifically people who, um, were near, were within one mile of local hospitals, um, 10 mile radius. That would be one potential title, just something that you're going to remember. And, and it, at a glance, you know what it is you're looking at. Now, we don't want to use any previously designed audiences. We're going to pretend this is brand new. 
So, and it's not people living at the hospital, it's people that recently were in it. Maybe traveling in it, but I think recently in the location is what we want to do specifically. Now, right now it's the United States, that's broad, but if I click here, I can start typing in an address. But even cooler, if I click down here to add locations in bulk, I can go down to, uh, it gives you all these options, countries, regions, states, you know, designated market areas for advertisers, cities, postal codes, and addresses, complete addresses, I want that. And I can change the default and I go all the way down to one mile. It doesn't let you go any you know, closer than that, unfortunately, but one mile is pretty good. So we're gonna go with it. And then I got a long list of, I can separate these by comma, semicolon, or just a new line for each one. So that one I would do, I would go back to my map, I go to the top of the list and I would uh, click this one. And right here, I've got, I can copy the address, boom. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to paste it. And I'm gonna start a new line. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to hit the back button on Google. I, I actually like to, oops, I did it too many times. I like to make sure that I just get back to this page. You might have a faster way of doing it. I don't know. And this one looks like a major hospital, not too far away at a major intersection. Definitely want to copy that. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste it. I'm just going to repeat that uh, until I get the uh, entire thing. Now, I'm not going to make you watch me do that because I'm miserable. But uh, when I'm done with that, I'm, I don't need to really do many of these other things because really what I'm doing is, is just isolating that location. Now I'm going to hit cancel and show you, I'm going to pretend that I saved it and finished this. And here's the one that I completed, a slightly different title, but essentially the same thing. And it shows me what I got. Uh, people recently near hospitals, one mile radius within 10 miles of, of the uh, law firm. And there's about 630,000 people in that. Now it's recently, I don't know exactly what recently is. They don't exactly tell me, but um, I'm assuming it's within uh, 30 days, I'm hoping. Uh, most of my audiences I do within 30 days. And I've got a pretty good size audience there. And now I can use this whenever I go to create ads or boost posts. In fact, let's try it out, shall we? Let's see if we can do that right here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that or not. But let's say we, um, we're we in here and uh, we've got a post that we want to boost. Let, let's, just, let's just take a, an example in here, see if we can find one. And, and I don't, you don't need to boost posts. I I'm, I'm actually like to use the, the um, business uh, to create a, a new ad. But uh, I was just saying this is because it's easy. You know, people sometimes know about this here. You know, it's, it's really easy. You could just click boost and then try it. Looks like I've already boosted all these. I might have to create a new ad. Okay, I'm going to do it to this. Uh, yeah, here's a Spanish speaking one. I'm going to do it to this one. I'm not going to make it live because Memorial Day's passed. But let's say I went in here and I want people to react, share, or maybe video views is what I would pick. Um, make sure that there is a button to the, to the website. It uh, doesn't have to be a special ad category. Now, here's what we're looking at, the audiences. So people you choose. You can just do people in the area, but that's a lot of people, and hardly anybody qualifies to see this car, our car accident ad, right? The people in the local area, uh, people, uh, look at, there's my audiences. People recently near hospitals within 10 miles. Now, I also have my custom audiences, which is this list, but this one down here is even easier to get to. It's a saved audience. It's a combined. So I have my combined save audiences popped up here, and my custom audiences popped up here. So I could retarget to all of these, or I can go straight to my really cool list, people recently near hospitals, there it is. And uh, I could do automatic placements or I might not. You know, if I don't wanna, if I don't wanna tar uh, target with all of, Facebook has a lot of options. In the ad manager, you see these broken down further where there's the display network that they have and all that. Sometimes I just want it on Facebook and Instagram. Maybe I'll keep it on. And then you can, you can even boost a post this way using that audience. Now, if you're back here, you can always go over to the business tools to your ads manager, and then you would take and uh, you would create a new ad, and we would go um, create ad right here, and you would go through the process. This I don't have to show you this on another video, but essentially, if I wanted to do one of my classic video view ads, and I don't want campaign budget optimization, uh, and I'm going to go in, and the first thing it's going to have me do before designing the ad and, and uploading a video or selecting a video is pick an audience. So that's really cool because on the campaign level, that's the high level stuff and you're setting budgets and the overall thing. The ad set level is when you are picking uh, targeting, which is probably the most important part of the whole process is targeting, right? You know, if you put that ad, right ad in front of the wrong person, you don't get a result. Even a terrible ad in front of the right person can still get a result. So here we are right there. My saved audience is people recently near. And, and I could actually go in here and, and search for it if I couldn't find it. Uh, I can edit it if I want to customize it for this particular thing. But I think if I edit it here, I'm editing the audience everywhere. So I, I wouldn't want to do that. So again, how I started, and I might not have shown this very well, is I right now I'm in the ads manager, but I was in audiences before. So here I would go through and I would continue. And oh, by the way, manual placements. 
I can show you if I don't want to be in their audience network. Uh, if my video is too long for Instagram, I could turn it off. Um, you know, I, I, can, I can go through these and decide, do I want it on the marketplace? No, it doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test maybe these other ones, see how they do. Um, you know, uh, in stream, don't really know if I want it in stream um, while they're watching other videos. Maybe, maybe I'm going to test that. But it gives you these options. You know, articles, uh, not sure if that's going to be useful for us. Um, we really want to hit people while they're, they're scrolling through uh, uh, Facebook. And then you start small. You don't have to start with 20 bucks. They always try to sneak that in on you. You got to watch those Facebook guys. Uh, but you might start with uh, $3, a whopping 3 bucks, and test it um, and, and run it continuously and then uh, uh, change the budget later or duplicate this whole ad and try different uh, parameters. So this is, this is a beautiful thing. This allows us to uh, do some pretty, pretty cool stuff and increase our odds of that uh, car accident ad being shown to people that potentially could, could do it. Now, can you imagine doing the same search over here? In fact, let's do it. We had hospitals near the address. What if we did physical therapy near the address? What are we going to get? And there we go. We could create another audience for physical therapists and maybe for specific ads that are more appropriate for people that are visiting physical therapy. You could uh, target physical therapists in Facebooks. Uh, you could, you know, people have an interest or a, as employers, as physical therapists, if you wanted something for them that was more geared toward, let's say, getting referrals from them. But this is for people that just visited their clinic within one mile. So you're, you know, it's not perfect, but within one mile is better than nothing. And usually within that mile, there's going to be, you know, you're going to have a higher chance of hitting the people that are actually there rather than, you know, everywhere else. So it's not perfect. You know, we would love to do inside the location and you can't do that here. You could do that potentially by buying data outside of Facebook. There's plenty of data providers that you could actually get people uh, that are there. But this is pretty good and we found some good results with it. I hope that helped. Uh, if you'd like to ask questions, just uh, check us out at StoddardAgency.com, S-T-O-D-D-A-R-D, Agency.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Take care.